Hi, it's Gene. Welcome to the channel. I'm retired in Mexico and we ask one question on this channel, which is do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young and old, think that the old music is better than the new music, but I'm not so sure. So we're asking this question one video at a time. Today I'm going to hit up King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard for the second time. Now, I've had a lot of recommendations. They have 20 albums, so you know, it's it's rather an intimidating catalog, right? I think they put out like five albums in one year or something nuts like that. So I've got this song I picked. I, here's what I did. I just went to Spotify and I said, which song has the most number of plays? And that song is called Work This Time. Now it's a little unusual, I guess, because the guitarist, um, I guess the singer is maybe the second singer in the band. So this is a, um, a song that was dropped several years ago and uh, so let's go ahead and, and hit this up. This is a performance from this year so it's brand new and it's King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard work this time so I guess it's one of their most popular songs and we will do a lyric dive. It's not a lot of lyrics this time. Um, we'll go ahead and do a dive. Alright here we go. So it's got good audio quality. Sometimes it's a little uh, a bit of an old D, you know. Um, but uh, I'm going to dedicate it to my, uh, my partner, my partner in crime, my, um, my partner Edith, her name is. And she's actually here tonight. So, It's a little bit low fi but I think we can enjoy this. Drum roll. Yeah, definitely slower pace like I read. Mm. Very bluesy right off the bat. Mm. Keyboards add a lot of color to this. So I guess this is a cell phone video, but it's pretty good quality. Not KE, not KEXP quality, but you can hear the bass very well, though. That's 
so interesting, those uh, high-pitched key. I guess that's a keyboard. Hmm. It's a blues guitar solo, but psychedelic. This is so different than the last song we hit up. Yeah, definitely take a look at the lyrics because I'm not I'm not picking up on the lyrics. He's got that falsetto through the whole thing. Hmm. I mean, it's both familiar and different, right? So I think this is from 2014, I think. The uh, studio. There we go. Oh. Hmm. So bring in that fuzz. Oh, wow! Wow, he's got it! You guys told me they did every style under the sun. And this proves it, right? They were just listening to this burning blues. Hmm. I mean, when I said familiar but different, it's like I've heard this guitar solo before, and I've not, I've not heard it before. If you know what I mean, it's a, it's a familiar progression, but he's got his own stamp on it. Wow. So I did not know that this was going to be as lo-fi as it was, but it didn't disappoint me. Uh, I got to hear some real burning guitar here. So let's go ahead and bring up the lyrics, because um, they're very interesting, very interesting. So I knock hello, but I see that you've got hypothermia. So I, I did a little deep dive in here just before I turned on the video. And when we talk about uh, in a relationship, if your partner is cold, right, or giving you the cold shoulder, 
uh, the writer here is just exaggerating that. I see you've got hypothermia, so you're more than cold. You're almost shut down. So I place a block to stop the rot, and, the, and I hope that I can warm you up. Do I have to shake you, babe, until you're blind? Because every light bulb's blown and I'm feeling so inclined. So there's one of those rhymes, again, we, we get rhymes in some of their songs. Can never lay my whole head down, they repeat that three times. I know I'm lazy, but baby, I will work this time. Now I love that line because, yeah, I know I'm lazy, so we've got some introspection. And then the famous, but it'll be different this time, right? I swear, I can change. Scout's honor, I can change. So, yeah, this is great. Uh, it's kind of funny that I live the poetry I cannot write. Uh, they said this was Oscar Wilde here. Um, a quote by Oscar Wilde from the picture of Dorian Gray, so quite a literate band here. The only artists I've ever, this is a quote, the only artists I've ever known who are personally delightful are bad artists. A great poet, a really great poet, is the most unpoetical of all creatures, but inferior poets are absolutely fascinating. The worse their rhymes are, the more picturesque they look. He lives the poetry that he cannot write. The others write the poetry they dare not realize. So, wow, that's amazing that they pull in an Oscar Wilde reference here. And then on this one, uh, but you, my beauty, shall be fixed forever loosely in my heart. They're saying here, opposed to the cliché, perfect fit for the void in a heart. Uh, so the speaker admits that his girlfriend only partially fills the void. The phrase fixed forever loosely is an oxymoron. Yeah, true. And, and maybe referencing the speaker's difficulty with commitment. So you know what's interesting about this too is when they opened the the video, he said, "My girl, my partner Edith is here, and this song is dedicated to her." And then you read the lyrics, and you're like, "Well, ah, if, if I'm Edith, I don't know if that's a good thing, right?" <laughs> it's it's like, "Oh, hey, thanks for the dedication," but. Um, yeah, really, really clever, right? Uh, uh, clever verse here, and then they, um, the pre-chorus is repeated, and then the chorus is repeated. I know I'm lazy, so it's very simple. Uh, but he sang the whole thing in the falsetto, and with that cell phone video, I, I, I could not pick up the words. But really uh, awesome lyrics, as always, and uh, I really, really like this. I think, you know, I should have had a... A higher fidelity version maybe give them a fair rating but um, uh, let me just say I really liked it and I, and I love the blues I actually listened to a blues a blues program sorry I'm tripping on my words tonight but uh, there's actually a blues show that I usually listen to on Sunday night because you know I still love that old Muddy Waters and Howlin Wolf and that's all music before I was born right but it's the basics, it's the roots, it's where so many of our songs come from. And, and uh, yeah, I'll do a video one of these days, uh, another video on why I do this. I did one video, and, and I think that's what I called it, is why I do this. And uh, I'll do one more uh, shortly about that lineage thing where I'm listening to music before my time, of my time, the next generation, the next generation, and I'll elaborate a little bit on how powerful that is in my listening experience. So if you like what we're doing on the channel, uh, hit that like or subscribe button. It really helps the growth of the channel. And uh, you guys have, I'm so glad you turned me on to this band. This was uh, just excellent burning blues. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and if I were there live, I think I would like this song even more than I did watching it here in my chair. It, uh, you could tell the crowd was going nuts. And it, it looks like a, a good uh, showpiece. So, uh, But yeah, we're talking A territory on this. Uh, but I would, I would like to hear a higher fidelity version. Uh, maybe I'll play that in my own time to get a better feel for the, for the real... Uh, excellence of this song so interesting band so already 
hitting up the second one, I can tell we're going to have to do a third one because there's, they are such a diverse band. So as we say here in Mexico, buen dia and thanks for joining me.